A week ago, I was with my nephew, who had been in prison for five years. And I asked him the question, did he miss the life? And his response was yes. Yes. And so, um, as someone who educated your son, and you were educated by your son, um, what would you, or how would you educate clergy in regards to the struggles of persons who are trying to live outside of the prison wall after being released? You passed? I am. Luke 15. Okay. It's real simple. It's already, it's just like Ragu was sitting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ask God to please tell me how can I explain it to the churches. Mm -hmm. And that's why we invented the Prodigal Child Project in, in, in 2007. Mm -hmm. Not just to protect us with our C4, because a lot of us let them candidates come in and all that. No, they get big tips. Ain't no need us lying. Mm -hmm. But also, because Luke 15, mm -hmm. what it says, the Father met him with open arms. Yes. Mm -hmm. And those open arms, how do you kill a hater? You love him to death. Mm -hmm. You got to love him to death. And, 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 and the father met him with open arms. Right. And I'm talking to all y'all pastors now. Mm -hmm. And then he did four things. Four. Mm -hmm. Coat of covers that did what? Covered. Yes. Because mm -hmm. our anger and our emotions that you see. Because mm -hmm. some of us scared. We know how to deal with that life inside and somebody structured our life mm -hmm. and tell us what to do. But because of our lack of life education, we don't know how to live up under mm -hmm. that structure mm -hmm. without the demand. Right. Mm -hmm. The covering, the coat of colors. Mm -hmm. Second thing he did, what? Gave him shoes on his feet, what? Mm -hmm. A direction, right. a direction to go. If I'm getting blackballed and I'm getting walled and running into obstacles, I try to get a job. Mm -hmm. You say, go get education. I can't get that because they won't let me get a student loan. You say, go get a job. I can't get a job. because mm -hmm. So I'm running in a, so give me a direction to go in. Okay, some of us as pastors, what we need to do, come stay at the church for a minute. Just mm -hmm. stay here till we can get you some kind of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shoes on his feet. Mm -hmm. Next thing he did, he killed the fatty calf, which is what? The necessities of life, food, right. clothing, shelter. Because mm -hmm. we can't get that either. But then last but not least, what, what did he give him? He gave him a ring. Yeah. And what did that ring mean? Y'all yeah. remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You belong to yeah. us. Mm -hmm. right. You're a citizen. Mm -hmm. That's why ex felon voters' rights is so, so keen to me. Not because you could vote, but because of the inclusions and attachments that I named earlier that go with it. Because no public housing, no food stamps, can't get a student loan pay, can't get a business license. But once I get my citizenship, then I belong. I'm the same as you now. Mm -hmm. You don't see me differently. Mm -hmm. Another thing the churches can stop doing, stop patronizing us. Stop patronizing us. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got a bro. I got a, you know, and no yeah. reflection to you. I'm just talking to everybody I, here. I understand. I, I got a nephew locked up. I know what you go. No, you don't know what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Don't patronize me. Mm -hmm. Just be there for me and be there with me. Mm -hmm. Help guide me. Mm -hmm. And be strong and firm with me. You know, if I mess up, hey, you messed up. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me brush you off. Let me show you what to do. I need you to be that father for real now. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that's how you handle it. You tell them, say, look, I understand now. Mm -hmm. Come here. Yeah. You the mother of the type, nurture them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's good. Thank you.